What are we doing today, you ask? Well, that's a good question. Today, we are making, no, not the boat. That was, well, that was earlier today. That's another video. That's our project today. We've got, this is actually going to be two projects. My youngest kid's school needs picnic tables to eat lunch. They're going to be rotating. Some of the kids are going to eat outside while some of them are going to eat inside and to keep social distancing during the COVID. So they needed picnic tables. Right now they have, I think, three and they need a lot more than that. The plans we're using today are Jay's custom creations um, from his website. He has some free plans. I really appreciate that. And they look really good. And I like it because you're using some pocket hole joiner uh, screws to hide the uh, screw heads and um, it looked like a really good plan. Now I wasn't planning on buying the wood and cutting it myself. I was just going to buy the pre-cut picnic benches from Home Depot and Lowe's. The kits are $99 and it costs a little bit more to buy just the raw wood as the kits and the kits come pre-cut so I was going to do that just for speed. But, uh, because of shipping issues of COVID, the, they're, they're out of picnic benches like within a 80 mile radius of the house at Lowe's and Home Depot, so that was a no-go. It would have been cheaper and quicker for me to buy the kits than to cut it myself, but since we don't have that option, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to build it ourselves. Sometimes there's projects you take the time on and then there's some projects It's just a bing bang boom and you just gotta get it done. So we're gonna do a good quality job on this But we are going to do it at an expedient rate and so we can get this knocked out So pretty quickly I just wanted to show you uh, Jay's plans. They are free. It, they're pretty nice They get the reason I wanted to use plans and not have to think about it is because he just gives you all the sizes I can just cut, cut it and chop it and be done. He does say uh, you use a water sealer if you use untreated lumber. Um, I was going to do this all out of treated and I thought it was going to be super heavy and then you got to let it sit before you can seal it anyway. I was going to seal it anyway. But what I'm going to do is use untreated lumber except for the legs. I'm going to use treated lumber for the legs because that's where the ground is contacting it and you'll have less rot. We're still going to seal everything so that's the, the deviation I decided I'm going to do from his plans, which is pretty much not changing his plans any, but that's what we're going to, uh, the additions we're going to do to it. He's got a parts list. Um, here's your guy cut, cut list. This is what we're basically going to be using. And then just showing you the different, uh, how to connect it, which is pretty self-explanatory, but it's nice that he, he did all this. Um, he also, he is a guru on SketchUp, so if you wanted to, uh, use sketch up and modify it uh, he does give you that also see so just different plans uh, diagrams on that so let's get the wood unloaded and let's get started So I stayed up late last night. I wanted to get the other tabletop finished. Uh, I wanted to also get the epoxy in the knot hole so we can kind of get that smoothed and let it dry so it can be sanded today. Um, I'm going to start cutting the legs while I might get some help uh, from some other people to do the sanding of it. We'll see how that goes. So you can see all these knots. Uh, I just filled it in with uh, epoxy. I put a little bit of black ink to make it a dark color rather than being clear and uh, one I was surprised right here this one you can see it had a hole right here and I kept pouring and pouring and it kept um, just disappearing I, ha I knew it went all the way through I put some tape underneath 
but uh, as you can see it filled up through the cracks all the way so there I'm glad I filled that in because there's a big old void right up underneath here but everything looks good so we're gonna get to sanding Thank <laughs> you. 